Hey streamers, and welcome to part 3 of our Create Your Video Streaming website on WordPress with WP Stream. In part 1, we showed you how to create a free-to-view live channel, and in part 2, we showed you how to create a free-to-view video on demand. Now in part 3, we're showing you how to monetize your live stream and video on demand so that you can start making money off your video content right away. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to your WordPress admin and then go to WP Stream All Channels. Here you'll find all your existing channels, so whether they're free to view or pay per view uh, channels. We currently don't have any any pay per view channels, so we are going to create that for this video. So click on Add New Pay Per View Channel. And just like in the previous tutorials, you will need to do the same exact thing. Well, not the same exact thing. You'll need to change up your content. But what I mean is that you will need to add a title, bio. The difference here is that you need to also add product data. So we currently have live channel and we can set a regular price. So for example, $5. You can also add a sale price if you wish. You can also create a subscription. So a simple subscription by clicking on that. And of course, your viewers will need to either pay monthly, weekly, or daily, yearly, things like that. Let me know if you want to see a video tutorial on how to create a simple subscription, live channel, or video on demand. That might be part 3.5 of this series, if you wish. You can also schedule a sale and all these other good things. You can even link products and things like that. So now that that's out of the way, we'll keep the regular price as five. We can set a product image. Once again, you will need to add product categories. I highly recommend that you add all these existing features, all these details because it really helps your video SEO. Um, we plan to release a video soon about video streaming and SEO, how to optimize it. So a bit of um, strategy, techniques, and tips and tricks on how to optimize your video streaming on your website. So once we've completed all of this, I'm also going to add a product short description. It's a bit long here, but yeah. I'm going to publish this live channel. Once published, you'll see that your channel is currently off. And just like in the first parts of the series, before you turn it on, make sure you check out your channel settings. And I'm also going to enable record live stream so that I can take that video on demand, well, that recording and create a pay-per-view video on demand later. You can also share your channel with your viewers. And now I'm going to turn on my channel. Once on, you can go live with your webcam or with an external streaming app, and you can also view your live statistics. But first, let's go live. And to do that, I'm using an external streaming app, which is OBS for this particular video. OBS is a free pro tool that you can broadcast live events. I will go to settings and then to stream. And here you'll need to add the server and stream key from WP Stream into the appropriate sections and click on OK. Once that's done, I will click on Start Streaming. And that's it. If you go back, exit this pop up, and click on View Channel, it will take you to your live stream. But you first need to purchase this live stream in order to view it. So I'm just going to do a test purchase to show you. Your viewers, of course, will need to purchase this before they can watch. And once that's done, under order details, they'll click on the link and it will take them to your live stream. And this is how it looks like. Your viewers can go picture in picture or full screen and enjoy the full experience. But yeah, that's basically how you can create a pay-per-view live stream to broadcast on your WordPress website. The next step is, of course, 
stopping your live stream, ending your broadcast. So go back to OBS Studio and click on stop streaming. Once that's done, you'll see that your live stream would have ended and the following message will appear, which you can also edit this text by clicking on the link down in the description bar. So how to edit your off air text. And once your live stream is done, you'll find your recording available under WP stream recordings. So here is your recording, your file name. You can delete this file, download it, create a free to view video on demand or a pay per view video on demand. I'm doing the pay per view video on demand because I showed you how to do the free to view video on demand in the previous episode. So at this point, you already know how to add a title, description and all these things. But under product data, you will type in the regular price, also adding $5, adding my short description. Categories, tags and all these things. I know that this might seem long to a few of you, but I promise you this is very important and you need that SEO optimization. I just copy pasted that, but I highly recommend that you don't do the same thing. I'm adding a product image and that's it. I'm going to publish my video on demand. And once published, I will click on the permalink right under the title. And once again, I will not be able to view this video on demand before I purchase it. So I'm going to go right ahead and do that really quick. And under order details, I will click on the link. And here is my pay-per-view video on demand. So I took the live stream, the pay-per-view live stream. I took its recording and created a video on demand for your viewers to catch up with. That is it on this video on how to monetize your live streams and your video on demand. Make sure you come back next week so that I can show you how you can enable regular users to broadcast on your WordPress website. See you soon.